Good morning, everybody. It's Brian today. Hollis Farms finally got back down here to the dove field. I had to cut it twice. Can't stay ahead of the rain. Finally got down here. I got my spray rig fixed up. Had some problems with it. My brother-in-law rewired the switch and all for me. So got it running. Got my glyphosate mixed up. Got a little crop oil in there. We're going to try to spray this field it's so hot it ought to burn it down good we're gonna spray it then probably come up here this weekend and uh disc a couple of strips through the middle of it try to make it a little more attractive to these doves i don't know we just really wish we'd had time to plant so uh sunflowers up here we'll try that next year but anyway i'm gonna get her hooked up i'm gonna turn it on right quick what i've got is one of these little single nozzle sprayers right here it does pretty good i'm gonna turn it on you'll see I think sprays about eight to ten feet wide pretty pretty good for a little rig it's not the big big rig like jason's got on his ranger but uh anyway turn it on it's like i gotta adjust the nozzle well, when it gets a little air out of the line it'll uh you'll see it it'll spread out See that that thing sprays about, whew, it sprays a good 10 to 12 foot path. So you know, we're going to take off and spray, spray about an acre or so. I'm not going to spray every bit of this, spray about an acre of this. And we'll go down here in this end, spray another little spot, and we'll have our, be ready for to, uh, probably going to put a little weed out or something later for a day or two. So we're going to get going. I'm down to about 10 gallons, not even 10 gallons left. I got all of this field hit real good. I started down here right over this little rise here where we would normally have a food plot. Went down to about 80 to 100 yards past that box stand. Got all of that hit good. I hit along the edge here where we'll make it easier riding in and out. And then during deer season, the grass won't be tall. Something else I did, I had a couple spots here that uh, me and Presley had uh, turned this ranger went dead. Let me turn the key off right quick. All right, what I was going to show you is we we had uh, Presley and I had come down. We came down to clean around the box stands with the weed eater and the Roundup last weekend or whenever it was. We cleared us out a couple of spots here so somebody could sit here dove on a dove stool would be pretty clean. So I backed in here and hit this again. 
Got one one spot on this side of the pole, one on the other side. Then I fixed up three down on the far end so somebody can sit the chair and there won't be in all that old green grass. That'd be a nice little spot to sit. Last year, the doves tried to fly this little chute right here between these cut over and this little creek. So this, this might be a good spot if we have any birds. They're cutting corn over in the prairie right now. That usually holds the birds over there for a little while. I did that last year. Then we had a few here. We've got two other fields. Uh, oh, another place that we have been seeing a lot of birds on. So we got some options. So we don't hunt one field too much or if one don't have many birds. But anyway, we got the field sprayed. Got us our little sitting spot sprayed. I'm going to go back down and hit around this box stand one more time. It did pretty good from what me and Preston sprayed, but I'm going to ride around. I got a little bit of chemical left. Then I'm going to back in there and make me a couple of sitting spots down there too. And then uh, won't have any left to go across the cutover right here with, but it's not that bad anyway if we... Uh, It'll be fine till deer season. Anyway, when it does get cold, it'll knock it back. All right, y'all made it back. Got all the spray out. Got the... They got both those fields sprayed pretty good. It's hard for me to tell about the volume that one little valve puts out, a little sprayer, but I think it did pretty good. I got 40 gallons put out. That should be about right for the area I sprayed. Got to hook up my trailer here. Got a couple of projects coming. I'm gonna show y'all as the weather cools off. Two different builds we're gonna work on this fall. One's a, well, I'm gonna tell y'all what they are. Y'all just keep watching. I gotta take my trailer in though. I'm going to pick up one tomorrow. I'll take y'all with me when I go pick it up. That's gonna be one of the builds we're gonna work on this fall. And I got another one that's a, another interesting project gonna work on i did a little horse trade and i traded my old dirt late model for another project we're gonna be working on too so i got all that stuff at the house i'll show y'all that pretty soon but get this trailer hooked up and we're out of here thank y'all for watching